Well, well, well. Hello. I am not wearing this for any significant reason to praise the Patriots. They played like absolute garbage yesterday. Uh, just to just to clarify that, in case you guys are like, why is he wearing this jersey? I don't know. I just I I put it on, doing some laundry, whatever. Um, yeah, any Patriot fans will know what an absolutely abysmal performance that was from pretty much everybody. I mean, other than some really good offensive yards, scoring 33 points. None of it mattered. But anyway, we're not here to talk about the Patriots. We're here to talk about The Walking Dead. I wanted to do some more vlogs with you guys because it has been, I don't know, I'd say a week. During the Christmas season, I want to make a couple of these because I'll have some free time, obviously off from work and such, and I'll be able to dedicate more time to doing these vlogs for you guys. Um, so, today's topic, we're going to go into, I guess, the Whisperers. I mean, you see Beta right here. I mean, I'm really promoting him on this <laughs> thing. I, I think it works, and honestly, that could be our image going forward for the second half. I mean, I think it's menacing enough. I did have Judith. If it's Judith even still there? No, the Patriots logo's there. Um, I think that works. Um, I guess we can talk about, for today, I wanted to talk about what parts of the comic book they're probably going to adapt, which parts they're not going to adapt. Specifically, the whole Lydia uh, Henry situation. Now, people are, who, again, this is a little bit of a spoiler for the comics. Just going to tell you guys that right now. Um... Although the comics really is not on par with the show because Rick and Carl are at the centerpiece of the Whisperer story arc and obviously both of those characters, one's gone on a helicopter and the other one's dead in the ground. So <laughs> not really um, not really part of the storyline at all. Uh, it's probably going to be Daryl, Michonne, Carol at the forefront of this conflict uh, and then the younger kids, Judith and Henry. Um... And I kind of want to talk a little bit about how how these characters are going to get warped into the story or wrapped up into the story. Uh, because in the comic book, Carl actually gets into a relationship with Lydia. When Lydia's captured, Carl talks to her. Um, she doesn't think his eye wound, the big eye socket wound, she doesn't think it's gross. Um, she likes him for who he is. And it's a very genuine relationship. And it encourages Carl to try to broker a peace between the Whisperers, spe specifically between Alpha and Rick. Uh, it doesn't work because Alpha, Alpha is just a savage nut job. Uh, she exiles her daughter and allows her daughter to live in Rick's part of the community, basically. Um, and then there's more that go. There's conflicts. There's confrontation. There's a border that's set up between their territory. And I think that's a little bit of what we saw in that midseason finale where the Whisperer said, you are where you do not belong, when he dodges the, the the sword slash and then ducks under and stabs Jesus under the arm plate, armor plate. I think part of what he was saying is, like, you do not belong. Well, what he means is you're, they're in Whisperer territory. I guess they migrated into that territory or they've always been there i don't know how long i mean again because there's a six-year time jump how long <clears throat> how long can you figure the whispers have really been set up shop in um in these parts so so who knows um but um so the, since so since carl's gone who's the next logical candidate for lydia to be in a relationship with well Henry, as we know, is actually in jail. When we left him off in the midseason finale, he was in jail. He was for drunken disorderliness, uh, which was really stupid. That little adventure, that little college fraternity adventure they had, where they were like pretending to fuck around with a zombie, like most ignorant kids do in this apocalypse, it seems. Uh, and so he's in that prison. So if they bring Lydia back to Hilltop, and they put her in that jail. Henry and Lydia will meet each other. And will... Will something happen? I... I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, obviously, with the... how Because I, I won't beat around the bush. In the, co in the comic book, Carl and Lydia actually... I mean, they don't show it in the comic book. It's implied. But it's implied that they screw around, have sex, that kind of thing. Um, so, 
Do you imply it in the TV show with some, you know, kissing in that venture? I mean, obviously you can only go so far. I mean, they've, <laughs> I mean, the, the closest we got to a scene like that was when Shane and uh, Lori first hooked up in the forest where Judith was basically conceived. And then there's the scene where Abraham and Rosita are in that library and Eugene's watching them from behind the, what was it, the the self-help section. That's the joke. Uh, <laughs> so we, we really haven't had too many scenes like that. Because again, it's AMC, it's cable. This was Game of Thrones. I think there'd be a lot more ass and tits and a whole bunch of fucking other things in this show. I mean, that's just, again, that's cable versus HBO. But again, the other thing I guess to consider is these are kids. So they're probably not going to show any of that. And it's probably going to be a very... They might even omit that part. They might even just have them make out, uh, hold hands, some fucking bullshit like that. But the only thing that's different is that Henry doesn't have any injury. Like, Carl had had one eye, and he always thought that his other eye was really gross and disgusting. And he that's like, it's a point of, like, even, even Negan, in the show and in the comics, Negan makes fun of Carl's socket. He's like, oh, your eye is so gross, I could see your socket, blah, 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 blah. So, <laughs> he makes fun of that, and Lydia is one of the first characters to think it's attractive, it's like a battle wound, it's like a battle scar, she thinks it's really cool. So how are they going to adapt that in the show, is my question. Is she going to be attracted to Henry's bow staff skills? Like, what... What's what's the what's the catch here is what I'm trying to get at. Um, and will they adapt it? Like, will things be different? Because again, like the show has really shown itself that it will go in any direction it wants, especially with Rick and Carl. Again, I know their scenarios weren't it, the decisions about their characters were made for different reasons. Andrew Lincoln wanted to do more movies, his filming schedule, all of that stuff that we already know, and then. Carl's death was really unnecessary. It was it was basically because Kirk... Uh, or I'm sorry, not Kirkman. Well, I guess Kirkman in a way. But Scott Gimple had no logical way to, to keep Negan alive without killing Carl. Like, he was saying to himself, like... Like, Rick has threatened to kill Negan twice. The season 7 premiere and the season 7 finale. He threatens in very vitriolic terms and in, in a very uh, heated manner that he, that he promises and swears that he'll kill Negan. And there needs to be some reason as to why he doesn't. And it ended up being, it ended up being Carl's last dying wish to, you know, unite with humanity and be better people and blah, 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 blah. So, um, I mean, it, it, you know, it's, it's annoying because, again, it is true. In the comic book, that arc was really bad where... Well, it's not that it was bad. It was to, the explanation. It comes out of nowhere. Like, Rick slices Negan's throat. Rick's like, oh, you save his life, and we have to be better than him. And I'm just thinking, like, could you have done it with another character? Like, I always thought it was going to be Morgan. Like, for me, I thought... Before this Carl crap happened, I thought that Morgan was going to be the one to... Uh, be like shot or wounded or he was near death and Morgan maybe Morgan regresses back to his all life is precious and he's like Rick you know you, you got to remember who we were at the beginning like you could have easily spun it that way you could have had this be like some full circle journey Rick learns a life lesson from Morgan and there's there's I don't know I mean again I'm sure Gimple went down that route he probably went down multiple routes and he said to himself like the only way this will work is if a main character bites, you know, gets the short end of the stick. Like, there's no other way to keep Negan alive. Again, it would... Because already, you saw the ramifications of that. Maggie and Daryl were pissed. And Rick... The only way Rick justified it to them was, we're doing this in the name of Carl, my son, who's dead. So, if it was for any other reason, they would be like, uh, screw you, Rick. I'm going and putting a knife in this guy's eyeball. So... Again, I understand Kirkman's line of thinking. I just, I kind of blame Robert Kirkman, really, because he kind of backed them into a corner. Like, he backed them into a corner with, oh, like, Negan survives the war and goes to prison. But he had, he just, it was just kind of a flimsical, nonsensical reason as to why it happened. That he didn't really, 
give a justified reasoning for that. So I, I, I can't understand for the life of me why he made that decision, but it is what it is. And we're going to have to deal with Henry, who's older and is really a Carl 2.0, and uh, Carol, it's I mean it's good because it gives Carol kind of like a mo uh, uh, a motherly role, like she once had. So that's new. That's good that it brings Carol into the storyline a bit more. Um, we haven't seen any interactions between him and Judith. Uh, Judith had that one episode of airtime. It seems like she's gonna have more time in the second half, but she is still a kid. I mean, you can't give her too much too soon. Maybe down the road she'll get more action and more. Uh, uh, more things going on in there, but um, yeah, it's, it remains to be seen. So, so anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, I uh, just, you know, these are some predictions I'm thinking of, like major moments from the comics they could adapt. Um, we don't see Beta. Negan's the person that introduces Beta in the comic book. Beta's not introduced until Negan crosses the border of the territory uh between the whispers and the communities and negan goes into that territory uh seeking out alpha and runs into beta and we don't meet beta until that point but we know from the trailer that daryl and beta get into some type of scuffle some one-on-one -on -one physical uh melee brawl so um how is that gonna end uh probably not good uh, <laughs> i don't know i mean daryl's not gonna die from that fight both parties are probably going to come away a little wounded, but we'll see. I don't know, man. Ryan Hurst plays a mean old beta, though. That, that guy's fucking scary. So, um, and yeah, I guess, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I mean, the show has probably got a lot more surprises up its sleeve and we should, we should be patient for that next layer. So, um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. And, um, I guess you guys can stay tuned for some of my vlogs. I'll have more during the Christmas season. Might upload some gameplay, but I'm not really sure what I'll upload. Um, trying to fill the void because we don't have The Walking Dead back until the spring. This is kind of my downtime. Whether I'm doing reaction videos or not. I know a couple of you guys have asked for them. I'm not sure. I might. I might consider doing one or two. Maybe like the season 9 finale or something like that. The season 9 premiere. I don't know. It's just... I'm going back and forth in my head. I can't decide. So I'm going to, I'll keep you guys like to be, to be announced, to be determined on that. I'm still 50, 50. It's really going to come down to just if, you know, I'm, I'm into it and everything else that goes with that. So, uh, all right. Thank you guys. I will see you later for more content. Thanks for watching. Peace out.